The scene is still being processed. Search warrants have been obtained and executed, and they will still be obtained. There's a lot of uh, digital footprint uh, electronics that we'll have to go through. So that process is ongoing. Um, information has also come as a result of some of this investigation that the individual was here a few months ago back in early March. Um, so as I said, uh, there's a lot of material to go through so that uh, we have confirmed now that it appears that individual was here uh, back a couple of months ago in early March. He continues to be in our um, custody. He continues to be on suicide watch, which means he's in a, um, a, a cloth smock, which is um, ligature proof, with a blanket, which is ligature proof. He's in a segregated unit, aside from the uh, rest of the uh, general population, and that's for his safety. Uh, he continues to uh, be offered uh, both uh, health, uh, physical and mental health. Um, so um, he will, I will ensure that he will continue to be safe from himself and from everyone else. The mental health forensic part of this has now become a moot point and is now off the table. So we are proceeding now to Thursday's felony hearing. Uh, one of two things is going to happen at that felony hearing. The defendant is either going to waive that felony hearing or the felony hearing is going to happen on Thursday and then we'll go forward.